chat hello good to see everybody back welcome aboard my friends hope everybody's having a great wednesday evening thank you very much for tuning in today on this captain canada after dark eu edition i know we're not flying around in europe but we're going to call it an eu edition simply because of the time um i wanted to make sure that everybody i thought about doing this flight later on tonight at like 7 30 eastern time my time but then i figured there would be a bunch of people that would miss out on the stream and there'd be a bunch of people missing out on um potentially winning some free scenery welcome aboard everybody thanks so much for my hanging bribes out for night bot and you for the tampa scenery haha -ha, no floaties <laughs> cap Nice, dude. Well, that being said, chat, we actually have three copies, not only two copies. We've got three copies of Tampa International to give away to you guys. That is uh, almost 70 US dollars after taxes worth of uh, goodies up for grabs today. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Very much looking forward to this one. Good to see everybody. JP, welcome Maverick. Thank you very much for the $5 donation, my friend. I appreciate you. Huge no floaty, sir. Thank you very, very much for supporting the streams. The continued support of the streams, Maverick. I appreciate you, my man. Ken, good to see you. Captain UK, welcome. AirFK90, good to see you. Jesse, welcome. Uh, Toasted Ninja, welcome aboard. Hope all is well. Um, Danny Roble, good to see you. Steve, welcome. Dan, good to see you. Walik, good to see you. Sonny, welcome. Good to see you. Carwin, welcome. Captain Grease, good to see you. Um, I, I believe this is only for PC, Captain Grease. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be working for Xbox. Not yet, at least. This giveaway specifically is probably going to be for the PC because um, I believe the, the, the sales, he goes through Contrail. So you need to have the Contrail app installed on your pc so yeah i believe it's only going to be for pc today gringo what's up man good to see you atif welcome max good to see you daggy good to see you v plays welcome captain dan good to see you huskers welcome back scott good to see you moving stump welcome leonard grant good to see you christopher Oram. welcome uh tyson ren good to see you calvin welcome hope all is well um further good to see you man welcome board sky drone welcome cape tonian good to see you Welcome, everybody. Thanks again for coming to hang out today. I really do appreciate it. I know it's an off day. I usually don't stream on Wednesdays, but uh, I figured if there was some scenery that was deserved to be shown today, it was this scenery. I think we've all been waiting quite a while for this scenery to come out. Um, I know I have, at least as a um, somebody who has family that uh, constantly resides in Tampa. Um, this airport is a must-have for somebody like myself. I have flown in and out of Tampa. I can't even count how many times over the years of... Uh, of since I was a little kid, like a tiny little kid, two, three, four years old, I've been flying into Tampa. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, Air FK, thank you as Let's well, man. Let's take off all together again. Smiley face. <laughs> Let's do it. Huge no floaties to you, my friend. Thank you very much for supporting the streams. Really do appreciate you. So chat, without further ado, let's jump inside the cockpit. Let's get this bad boy program ready to rock and roll. We are in the 737-900. While I all have you here as well right now, I'm just going to briefly touch on this tomorrow we have an absolutely epic stream as well um tomorrow i've been granted permission and early access uh to the new oslo scenery which is coming by orbex uh, a lot of us have been excited there's some great freeware there is a i gotta be honest here a not very good one by just sim my frames if you guys don't remember we were getting like 28 fps when we flew into um when we flew into Oslo last time. So tomorrow we're doing some real world KLM ops in the 737-900 um, from, we're going to go Amsterdam to Oslo back to Amsterdam. That's the plan for tomorrow. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you guys can't tune in today and you still want to be able to catch a stream this week, tomorrow is going to be an absolutely epic one. And that scenery will be releasing on um, Saturday. So if you guys have been waiting for that scenery, you guys uh, are interested in the Oslo scenery, it will be releasing on Saturday. So that's going to be absolutely awesome. I am looking forward to it. Um, what do you, what does the EU mean in your video title? Um, I, I, I almost feel like it's self-explanatory, but I have a lot of EU viewers, Will. Um, I, it's actually like a 60-40 split if you break everything down. Obviously not that much. Let's go 50-30 split um, between the US, North America, and the UK. I have a huge UK following. Um, not even UK, just Europe. I have a huge European uh, following. So um, 
that is why I do these After Dark streams specifically geared at this time towards my EU viewers. If you're in London or you're in the UK right now, uh, it's 7.30 at night. So it's like the perfect time to tune in for a stream. It's after dinner. Um, you know, if you're pushing it a little bit further, it's 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. So um, I, I factor that and that's why it's the After Dark EU edition um, as we usually have our normal After Darks here, but it's usually, you know, 7.30, 8 o'clock my time. So uh, without further ado, fat chat, let's jump inside the uh, cockpit. Let's get this bad boy program ready to rock and roll uh, into Tampa today. I think we're scheduled for um, two, what are we, an hour and 15 minutes is what we're scheduled for. So an hour and 15 should be a lot of fun. I'm very much looking forward to this one. Um, remember guys, we are giving away two copies of the scenery as well. Uh, sorry, three copies of the scenery. Um, so if you're interested in uh, winning some free scenery, you're going to have to stick uh, here to chat and we will uh, be giving away um, some goodies. We'll do a giveaway once we get to like cruise altitude. We'll probably do another giveaway on our descent into Tampa and then we'll do a giveaway once we land after we land and we're kind of watching the replays. So we'll, we'll do them in segments. But We've got three sceneries to give away. So if you do want to win a copy of this scenery, you love Tampa, you want some Tampa scenery for your Microsoft Flight Sim, um, make sure you stay tuned to the stream and uh, we'll be doing that. Calvin, Thank you very much for the $15 donation. I appreciate you, Calvin. Huge no floaties, my friend. Thank you very, very much for supporting the streams. That is extremely kind. Really do appreciate you, Calvin. Thank you so, so much. Guys, let's get some love and chat for Calgan. Calvin showing some love to the channel. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, dude. You're going to show us around the scenery? Uh, this is Atlanta. We're not in Tampa Bay yet. But yes, once we land in Tampa Bay, we will definitely do a, a tour of the airport. Uh, loaded in last night. Great performance for such a huge airport. Amazing performance. Um... I think I was getting like 50 FPS taxing around and stuff, doing crazy things. So, um, yeah, really excited about that one's going to be a blast. Almost 10 in Greece. Thanks for thinking about the Europeans for this one, Cap. No worries, man. No worries at all. Uh, Sean, good to see you, man. Thank you for Ride Dog in the house. Welcome. Ryan, holy macaroni, dude. Ryan coming in with the $100 donation. Jesus, Ryan. Huge no floaties to you, my friend. Thank you very, very much for supporting the stream. That's unbelievably kind. Guys, can we please, please, please get some love in chat for Ryan dropping the $100 donation? Ryan, thank you very much, man. Really, truly do appreciate that, dude. That's unbelievably kind. That's going to be some no floaties and some damage schmitties on that one. Thank you for the support, my friend. I appreciate you. Unbelievably kind. Thank you for your contribution to, to myself and the channel, man. Really do appreciate that. Thank you, dude. All right, chat. Let's jump inside the aircraft. Let's get this bad boy program ready to rock and roll, shall we? We shall. Repenza celebrating two months. Says, Hello, Cap. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Repenza, thank you very much for support, man. I appreciate you. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the streams. Really do appreciate you, dude. Um, and we've got uh, Andre. Thank you very much as well. Dropping the $10 donation. This is getting some overtime in, I see. Let's get it, Cap. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, man. There's Ryan's donation coming through with the $100 donation. Ryan, appreciate you, my man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's unbelievably kind, dude. Really do appreciate you. There's Andre coming Give in with his $10. Dollars. I see. Let's get it, Captain. Hell Silly yeah, man. face. Cool face. Got it. And then let's not forget about Calvin with his $15 donation as well. Calvin, thank you very much for the support, man. Really do appreciate you. And Rapenza, thank you so much for your support as well, man. Cool. First things first, overhead. Battery switch comes on, ground power goes on as well, beautiful, let's go all the way up top here chat, left side nav, right side nav, good, we'll continue our flows down here, yaw damper stays off, fuel pumps can stay off for now, we'll flip this over to standby, pa uh, ba standby power, sorry, uh, this is going to stay on ground power, we've got battery, that's all looking good, let's get some panel brightness up in this guy, beautiful, let's get our emergency exits armed, we'll get our chime only to the on position, Get our window heats on, uh, probe heats and hydraulic pumps will stay off until APU is good uh, and ready to be started. That's all fine. Engine bleeds are off, packs are off, isolation valve is open, good. We're going up to 34,000 feet today, flight level 340, so we'll plug that in. Come down here, everything looks good, we'll get our logo lights on, wonderful. Let's spend some time down here, let's get some lights turned on, beautiful. Uh, some main panel brightness turned on down there as well, wonderful, we'll come down here. Some panel brightness on here as well. Beautiful. Cool. So first things first, we're going to go to our FS Actions tab. We're going to go to our payload. Looking for a zero fuel weight today of 64.7. Wonderful. It's going to give us about an 86% load on the aircraft. Good. Let's go to our fuel tab today. Fuel on today's flight, 6.6. .6. We'll go and populate that. 
beautiful cool return return that's all good we'll go to the fmc go to pause in it sitting on the ground here in atlanta we'll go ahead and throw that in there beautiful next page we'll grab our left gps we'll scroll back we'll send that in there let's go to our route tab we do have a company route today so we're going atlanta over to tampa bay i can't believe we finally have tampa bay so excited for this one the amount of flights that we're going to be able to do now chat oh my goodness dude WestJet ops air canada ops mm, it's going to be delicious uh throw that into our company route call sign today is delta 1099 real world flight they're operating in the 757 right now actually interesting enough we'll go ahead and execute that beautiful looking good um dallin thank you very much my friend appreciate you do dropping five gifted members to the channel huge no floaties to you dallin thank you very very much for your support guys if you just received a gifted membership from dallin please make sure you thank him in chat that is unbelievably kind dallin thank you very much my friend appreciate you dude gifting the five members as well thank you thank you thank you man man um okay cool i do have a um pdc from atlanta approach so we'll go ahead and grab that now um let me see actually let me grab the atis quickly uh arrival no we want departing um so departing uh oh they're departing on the eights okay interesting uh winds are 130 at four eight mile visibility rain few at 16 broken at 42 overcast at six it's gonna be a pretty uh pretty soupy departure chat um looks like they're departing on eight right nine left eight right and nine left so if we open up our charts we'll open up atlanta um i'm, I'm assuming we're gonna get nine left for departure that would make the most sense um so that's all good we've got that beautiful so we can go ahead and throw in our flight plan so let's come down here let's go to our departures we are going to plan for the uh what did he give us here um ba -ba 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 -ba. the bang three departure so we're bang three with the luck transition out of nine left that's what we're going to expect we'll go ahead and execute that beautiful um diego thank you very much man dropping a five dollar donation let me uh let me replay that give me a second i will replay that man thank you very much for your support dude appreciate you thank you thank you thank you man sean i think you actually have to use the emoji if you don't use the emoji it's not going to come through uh, let me replay that for Diego. There we go. Diego, thank you very much, man. Hello, Captain. How are you doing so far? Good. When I was a teenager, back in 2012, my dream car was the Audi A6. Nice. Now I am an adult and I've seen an A6 from 2013 3.0 V6 72,000 kilometers. If you cool. were me, would you buy it? Audis are good cars. Expensive to fix, so don't, don't make sure you don't have to fix it, but, um, yeah. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you very much. Why not? Go for it, dude. If it's your dream car, do it up, man. Do it up, do it up. All right. Winds are 220 at nine knots, which means we're going to expect a 1-9 right arrival into Tampa today. So we're going to be on the Maddie 4 arrival. So we'll find that on our list here. Maddie 4 uh, 1-9 is what we're going to expect. We're going to take it via the Honed, Honed transition. There it is. And we're going to expect 1-9 right. And we don't need the pie transition, which is, um, I forget, that's an airport. We don't want that airport in there. So Clearwater, I think that is. Uh, Pensacola Clearwater, I think, I believe is the airport. Let's go and execute that. Beautiful. That looks good. Let's go to our legs page. We'll scroll through. We'll make sure we don't have any crazy discontinuities, which we don't. Beautiful. Let's go to our knit ref. Let's plug in some numbers now, chat. 64.7 is the zero fuel. We, we plan on burning five, which is going to give us a reserve of 1.7. Cost index today, we're going to go with our usual 35. We're going up to a cruise level of 340. Our average wind component at 34,000 feet is going to be 238 at 50. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Beautiful. Transition altitude is 18,000 feet. We are in North America. That's pretty normal. Let's go to our N1 limits here today. Um, pretty long takeoff and we're not that heavy. So we'll do a slight D rate on the takeoff and a slight D rate on the climb. So 99.5 N1. That's good. We'll go to our takeoff page. Flaps will be set to 5 degrees. CG weight 28%, which is going to give us a trim value of 459. We'll leave the V speeds blank for now because those will change as we push back and uh, get our flap setting set. But that's pretty much it, chat. We are looking good. Um, I don't know how many more passengers we have to board. Not that many. Um, looks like we've got 13 more passengers to go, chat. 13 more passengers to board and we'll be good to go. Um, let's go to the overhead. Let's get the aft fuel pump on. And we'll go ahead and spool up the APU. We'll jump outside and we can give this a nice little listen. Baggage loaders already done their thing, so we're literally just spooling up APU now, chat. Uh, 
Um, usually because the After Darks are just a lot more of like a chill experience, Captain Grease. I don't want to have to put on my like Captain Canada stuff and get my green screen out and turn all the lights on and do all that. It's just, yeah, it, it, it's just a, a much more relaxed stream for myself. You're having issues running Sim Toolkit Pro from a separate PC? You need to download the Sim Toolkit Pro Sim Connect server. Um, Sim Connect server is what you need, CST. Sim Connect server is what you need. Yeah. Just go to the Sim Toolkit Pro website and it should, uh, they should show you where the Sim Connect server is. So on the gaming PC, the PC that the simulator is installed on, you run Sim Connect server and then that will attach through IP. It'll go to your, uh, g your capture PC or your other PC that you, that you've got. So hopefully that works. Um, all right. Hydro pumps are on. APU bleed is on. Duck pressure is coming alive. Beautiful. Uh, let's come down here. We're going to go to FS actions. We're going to go to ground services. We're going to release the ground power. We're going to remove the wheel chocks. We're going to prepare for pushback and departure. Beautiful. You did it shows green, but nothing. Do I need to open ports? Uh, no. I didn't have to. CST? Yeah. I didn't have to, man. Now, I don't know. Everybody's PC is a little bit different, right? But uh, no, I, I didn't have to set any ports or anything like that, man. No port forwarding or anything like that, you know? All right. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Did he log off? He logged off. Okay, interesting. Atlanta logged off. Maybe he's, uh... I guess he's not on anymore. I don't know if they're setting an FSLTL for a rival aircraft of only showing departures. Uh, I have no clue. Like, the injection? Yeah, I have no clue, man. I'm sorry. All right. That all looks good. Beautiful. Let's set the correct Met tire, 3012, or sorry, QNH. Good. How did you turn off the Pi transition into Tampa? You just don't select it on the FMC, Dan. Hey, Cam, how's it going? Uh, any giveaways for the scenery today? Um, can you just read the pinned message up top for me? Let's, please don't, please don't make my brain hurt. There's, there's a, a pinned message up top for those exact messages. Nice pinned message for everybody to, to read and it's nicely there. I, I think I did a good job on that too. Park brake is off. Anti-collision light is on. That's two people who have been disqualified. <laughs> right dog, right dogs keep in chat. No pinned message on your end? I hardly believe that. I'm sorry. You don't see this big pinned message right up top here? Where it says the first like sentence is we'll be giving away two copies of the Tampa airport during today's stream. You don't see that? Better write to YouTube. So the message does say two copies. Yeah, well, surprise, we're giving away three copies. Surprise. All right, fuel pumps are on. APU bleeds on. We're looking good. We got duck pressure. Engine number two over to ground. Start valve is open. And two percentage is rising. Very good. Right, we'll introduce fuel engine numero two. Sorry, dude, I probably should have pushed straight back.
Okay, pushback. That's enough. Set parking brakes. Thank you. Alright, engine number one over to ground. Kep, how do you turn up your engine noises? Uh, they just go off the default sounds. Start valve open and two percentage rising. They go off the default, so if you go into the sound settings, they should just be in there. Alright, we'll introduce fuel engine numero uno. Trevor, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Flaps five degrees. All right, beautiful. Let's jump inside the cockpit. Wonderful. Let's go to the overhead. Gen 1, Gen 2, engine bleeds on, APU bleed is off, packs to the auto position, isolation valve to auto. Pro Pete's are coming on, yaw damper's coming on, APU goes off, start switches to continuous, taxi light can go on, we'll make sure our seatbelt sign is on and dinged as well. Auto brake over to RTO, we'll set our V speeds 46, 48, 57, throw in 157, beautiful. We'll open up the chart, we'll do our proper practicing. Open up our chart and we'll have a quick little look-see here on the departure. Top altitude is 10,000 feet. We've got 10,000 feet plugged in. We'll go flight director, left side, right side, auto throttle, V-nav, L-nav. Somebody just departing or arriving now as well. Um, Phil, for the last two months. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaty. So hope you are well, Cap. Uh, enjoying the streams as always. Thanks so much, Phil. Appreciate you, dude. Park breaks off. Let's get the hell out of this guy's way. Advance the throttles. We're going over to uh, zero 09 left for departure. Uh, again, we did have ETC, but ETC is, has since logged off, so we'll be back on monitoring Unicom. Come out here, we're making a right onto Lima. We'll go all the way down, nine left onto Lima. Ended up getting the Cocker Master, EFIS, and MCP. Works amazing with the PMDG. Very cool. Nice, dude. got a spirit plane down here taxiing. Sasha? No, it's, it's not our usual stream day. I don't think Sasha's around. If it was, though, you better watch out, yeah. I think the weather's looking good in Tampa. Scattered at 43. Oh, yeah, that's nice. 26 degrees. My goodness. I don't hear many people complaining about those temperatures. Can't confirm IRL sunny and clear. Very cool. Break through the clouds going to be beautiful? Yes, it always is. It always is. Lead pressure, that's all good, that's all set, that's set. Flip you to Gen 1, good, we do a recall, good, cool. 
Got to have in the street today, man. Was falling asleep on my yoke. Uh oh. Flew this wakes you up. Chat, what does this sign say right here? Thank you for using our airport. Hey, man, no problem. Don't see anybody coming in on final, so we should be good to go here. Want to go back to Cincinnati? As long as we don't, uh, as long as we don't uh, arrive on uh, 18 left or 36 right, we'll be good to go. Atlanta traffic delta 10 at 99, departing 09 left. Atlanta. All right, landing lights, strobe lights, wing lights. Let's go, chat. We out of here. The accuracy of the Atlanta scenery is pretty much spot on. Yeah, it's a handcrafted scenery. I um, I can't turn for some reason, chat. Wow. Why is that so buggy to turn? That was really weird. Like, had no control over the turn. Weird. Can you recommend any scenery? Just gave, upgraded to an RTX 3070. There's so many sceneries, man. I don't know if I could just do one, to be honest with you. All right, chat, here we go. Throttles up to 40%. Enjoy the departure, guys. Chrono's on. Let's get it. Toga. Takeoff power set. Airspeed's alive. Cross-check. Crosswind. Gear up. We're following flight directors. Power's coming in. Get a right turn going. Let's go flaps up one. Let's lock the gear. Auto brake can go off. Runway turn offs and taxi lights can come off. Flaps clean, 220. Right, autopilot's going on. Back up into the flight deck. Beauty. Nice departure, chat. Can't see much anyways. We're literally flying into the soup. So I'm throwing autopilot on. Wonderful. And wing lights can come off. Hey, Cap, going to my first 737 motion simulator on Friday. For a bit to play around. Nice, dude. Enjoy, man. If you're setting 40% N1, pressing toga button, I would say half of the time one of the engines spools down. Any ideas? Are you touching your throttles at all, Dave? It sounds like you may have some calibration issues with your throttles. Like the simulator's picking up some throttle movement. Did the same issues turning this plane on the ground? It did not want to move. I had to go like two knots and then like hold it. 
A little bit weird. Hey, Captain, when is the 3.30 supposed to release? I cannot wait any longer. I have no clue, man. I, my guess is as good as yours, dude. Take care, Captain Grease. See you around me. Is that a curved monitor? If so, how do you like it? Think about getting one for the future? Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. 32-inch curved. I love it. When do you pull the flaps up? Uh, it shows you, Merrick. So, like, see how there's an up here? That would be your flaps clean. It'll show, like, a 1 or a 5 as well on here. It'll usually show you. You can go by there. Also, really, speed's a good, like, indicator. Do you think it's worth it to buy Track IR5? Absolutely. Yeah. What bottle, what vats and model matching do you use? Uh, do you need to get one? FSLTL. FSLTL. Just looked up the 900 yesterday. Nice. Very cool, man. All right. Let's keep our climb going here, chat. There's that breakout. Oof. We're going up to 34,000. We'll bug that in. There we go. Left cold and snowy Denver for Tampa. Didn't break out of the clouds till 34,000 feet. Sheesh. All right, chat. 10,000. Landing lights come off, start switches to the off position, and we'll leave our seatbelt signs on for now. Do a little bit of cloud surfing out there on the wingtips. What's your opinion on the Concorde? I was never a, a huge fan of it, but that's just me. Pretty cool airplane, nonetheless. Rudders being inverted? I haven't heard of that one. What do you enjoy most about the 737 compared to the Airbus? The hands-on, flying with a yoke. It's it's a very hands-on airplane. I find anything with a yoke just seems to be a little bit more hands-on. Why the After Dark? Because uh, the Tampa scene were released. I wanted to do a showcase for a good friend of the channel, Vertical Sim. Wanted to showcase his brand new airport and be able to do some giveaways with you guys. If you only want to get one payware jetliner right now from Microsoft December, what should I get? Uh, I mean, really, you have two major choices between two premium products. You can get the you can get the um, the Phoenix A320 or the PMDG 737. You know, we've, there's also some other... You get the CRJ as well. It's up there as well. Jackie, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. What's the schedule looking like for the rest of the week? Same as normal, Pierce. Same as normal, man. Nice takeoff cap, as always. Giving you a shout-out from Phoenix. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, dude. Is FSIM Studios Vancouver good? It's great, Marik. Yes, absolutely awesome. Still love my Syracuse scenery, and then absolutely fantastic job. Yes, it is, man. Got a thousand word essay due in four hours, but I'm here enjoying the takeoff. Gotta get my priorities straight. Oh, baby. Thousand words. Easy peasy. You got this, man. You got this. See the Salt Lake City progress? I did. Yeah, looks good, Keenan. Looks good, man. I'm excited. That's one airport that we've, like, as soon as we have that airport, dude, oh, man. Pilot Edge Ops are on route. Drone tour when we land in Tampa? Yes, absolutely, Dan. Yeah. What is KTPA? I think I have it in the title, don't I? New Vertical Sim Tampa, KTPA. David, thanks for your subscription, man. Welcome aboard, dude. Do you think it's worth getting track out? Yep, I already answered you, Stepan. Absolutely it is, man. For sure. Yes, yes, yes. Looking forward to flying the E380? Meh. I don't know. You be flying the Mad Dog anytime soon? Uh, we'll see, Phil. We'll see, man. There's been a couple requests for that. We'll see, dude. Not everyone knows airport codes. Uh, again, Will. Like I said, my man, hover your mouse over the title. It literally says new vertical sim Tampa 
and then in quotation marks, KTPA. I, I really can't make it any easier, my man. I, I, I really, unless I hold their hand and I walk them directly to Google and I put in KTPA on their Google for them and search it at their house, but that would take too long. I literally make it as easy as I can, man. It, it's, you know, it takes all of five seconds to search up an iCow code as well. You know. Yes, we we know Will likes to argue. We're, we're very well aware, very well aware of that. You're saying that not everyone knows that. Again, Will, I, I can't make it any easier, man. I, I have them in the title together. It's literally in the title together. Together, in the title. In the title, together, Vertical Sim Tampa, KTPA. I, I literally can't make it easier, my man. I, I, can't, I like physically can't make it easier. Just through 18,000 feet, we'll go standard barometric pressure. You get it? Okay, well then stop. Like what? Like what do you? What, what are we continuing on about? There's there's no there's no if ands or buts here, Will. There's no, yeah, but well, you could do this. Yeah, but well, you could do that. No, there's nothing that I could be. There's literally nothing else I could do. <laughs> it's part of the education of becoming a pilot. Maybe. Maybe. What's your favorite pay, what's your favorite pay where airports? Ah, oh, man. That's a tough one, dude. There's some really great scenery for, there's some really great scenery for every sim, to be honest with you. Yeah. Nice, Brendan. Enjoy, man. Enjoy, dude. Not convinced we were going to Tampa. <laughs> nice. You ever seen the 737 cockpit? I was in one the other day, and it's so weird to see it in real life. Yeah, it looks the exact same as in the simulators, right? It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I know how to use it. I don't like it, though. Brandon, thanks again for the $5 bomb, man. Appreciate you. Nightblood's slow today. Or, sorry, Streamlabs is slow today. Thank you very much, man. It says, Tampa is my home airport. Just installed it. Um, fantastic job at Vertical Sam. Got the Phoenix Park there now. Ready for a fun evening. Yes. Yes, 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 man. Audio? Uh oh Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, Chad, we should be back. Hopefully it's better. I don't know why it's doing that, man. OBS, um, OBS, OBS said that there was an issue and they, they said that they resolved the audio issue. Um, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. Do I know how to use the HUD? I do, Pierce. Yeah, I don't use it, though, to be honest with you. Now I'm cutting in and out? Okay, hold on. Okay, we should be back now, chat. We should be good now, chat. If you are having issues, just refresh the stream. If you're uh, having issues, just refresh the stream, guys. Okay, I don't know what's going on. OBS, um, OBS said that they had a bitrate issue and... I bet Will is the type of person that has to call mommy from the bathroom when he goes boom boom and needs help wiping. I weep for the future. Google has made a whole group of people morons. Idiocracy was not supposed to be a documentary. Go away, baiting. Simmer down, C28. Thank you for the support, man. Appreciate you, dude. As always, huge no floaties, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. Everybody breathe. Everybody chill. Mike, thanks for 21 months, man. Appreciate you as well, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Brendan, thank you for the five dollar donation as well, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are crazy, man. Y'all are crazy. Need Toby Eye Tracker, and then I have that sweet, sweet Thrustmaster setup for the 7.3. Nice. I still prefer Track IR over Toby, but that's just me. Everybody has their own preferences, right? Right dog, thanks so much, man. 48 months. Wow. Celebrating four years on the stream as a member. Holy macaroni, dude. Four years. Sheesh. Let's get some love in chat for Ride Dog, my man. Celebrating four years as a member. TB's galore today. Let's save everyone the aggravation of entering the giveaway and give it to Ride Dog. Not here. Reroll. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. Uh, they are, Scotty. It's a fantastic. Yeah. Headed to work. Don't stream and drive. Nice. Don't stream and drive, Chad. When will the giveaway happen? Uh, we'll do one giveaway when we get to cruise altitude. We'll do one giveaway on the descent, and then we'll do a giveaway after we land. So we've got three airports to give away. And if you do win, they're a contrail code. So I'm not sure if you guys know what Contrail codes are. Um, you have to have a Contrail. It's a it's an app that you can download a bunch of. Uh, you can get a bunch of um, scenery developers use it. It's called Contrail. So yeah, opinions on the Charlie pedals. Um, I don't have them to be honest with you. Mister Schmitty, celebrating 47 months, absolutely bananas. Huge enough floaties to you, Mr. Schmitty. Thank you very, very much for the support, man. I appreciate you. That is unbelievably kind. The man, the myth, the legend, Chad, is one month away from four years as a member. Awesome, man. Thank you for your support, dude. Appreciate you. Chris, huge enough floaties to you, man. 23 months. It says one month till two years. Love the streams, Cap. Chris, thank you for your support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge enough floaties to you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Unbelievably kind, man. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you all, everyone. That's crazy, man. He kept the fiance get her B-Day gift. Has it been delivered yet? No, we're going to wait till spring to deliver it. We're not going to deliver it now in the middle of winter. But uh, I did tell her that that's what she's getting. And she uh, she agreed that that was uh, a good investment. A good investment. And her dad actually... Uh, we got to get a tractor. And her dad... Looks like her dad's going to go half on a tractor with me. So... That'll be good. I'll split the tractor cost. We're not getting anything crazy gonna get something a little bit older but um, yeah exciting times for the farm this year farming's expensive chat horses and owning a farm and a barn holy shit man it's expensive chat let me tell you cap should I pick up the Tampa um, I mean it's great scenery if you want I would wait until uh, we're gonna be doing a giveaway here shortly so if you want, I would maybe wait for the giveaways to be done, just in case you end up winning a free copy of the scenery, right? Yeah. Zach, my man, 50 months. Holy flex. He goes halfway to 100. My man, huge no floaties to you, Zach. Thank you very much, dude. 50 months. Sheesh. My goodness, dude. Thank you for your support, man. Appreciate you. And MHS celebrating seven months as well. Thank you very much, guys. This is absolutely crazy, man. You guys are wild. Thanks so much for the support, everyone. I appreciate y'all. You guys are crazy, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, Chad, if you missed it tomorrow, we're going to be taking a look at the new Oslo as well. Fred, thanks so much for your support, man. Says, hey, Cap, happy Wednesday. Feel stupid with my pesky four months following these guys with their four-year badges, but thanks for all that you do. Hey, man, don't feel bad at all, dude. We, listen, they, they were also at four months at some point, right, Fred? They were there, my man. Huge no floaties to you, Fred. Here's to another four months, my man. We'll get you up to those uh, nice numbers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we got Aviation Blaze, my man, dropping five gifted members to the channel. Huge no floaties to you, Aviation Blaze. Thank you very, very much for your support, man. That is extremely kind. 
I appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, let's get some love in the chat for Aviation Blaze. If you guys, if you are lucky enough to get a gifted membership from Aviation Blaze, please make sure you say thank you in chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Saw the Oslo scenery and stream looks very nice. Yeah, and the performance looks nice, Jackie. That's what I'm excited about. Planning on buying three to five paywars next week. Uh, maybe winning a copy will expedite that process. Exactly. So now I'll be flying on a 900 ER to Utah. Very cool, Maverick. You going for work or you going for family? No face cam today? No, it's an after dark. When I get the senior, I'll do some Southwest Ops from Baltimore to Tampa, then Tampa to New Orleans. Yeah, it's a good one. FS Realistic may be realistic uh, to some... Uh, you just use the toilet sound? Nice. Yeah, absolutely. How often is Cross the Pond? They do it twice a year. You have eastbound and westbound. Just came home yesterday in a Jet 2737-800. Love the flight. Would definitely do it again. Very cool. Salt Lake City and some Delta 330 ops. Oof. Is Delta still flying the 330? They do some cross the ground events. Yes, you are correct. Yeah. Toughest part is deciding which ones to buy. There's so many good ones, uh, but you helped me decide not to buy CVG. <laughs> oh, man. When is the next long haul? Not sure, John. Not Probably when the 330 releases, John. Hopefully soon. The audio isn't great. Uh, try and refresh the, the stream, Steve. Just refresh the stream, Steve. He's probably back when it was messed up. Tom upgrading his membership from business to first class. This man wants his lobster tail. Huge no floaties to you, Tom. Thank you very much for your support, man. Appreciate you. The difference is steak to lobsters. Lobster tails, Tom. Welcome aboard up into first class. Huge no floaties to you, my man. Thank you very much for your support, Tom. Appreciate you. And you know what that means, Chad, as well. we got flight student Cameron celebrating six months as well. Says, hey, Cap, when are you doing another stream in uh, to Hogwarts again? It was fun to watch last time. Uh, maybe Friday if I'm around. Friday we can do one or something like that. Thank you for your support, man. Appreciate you. Huge no floaties. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do you upgrade your sub? Uh, right where you see the little join button or the thing you should be able to. Do you like fried shrimp? Of course. Absolutely. Did the CVG developers get back to you? No. No. Where can you find my settings? Uh, CHP exclamation point MSFS in chat. After dark flying in the U... Well, no, we're flying in the US. But it is an after dark for my European viewers, if you will. Remember, guys, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. Um, let's go ahead and get things rolling here you guys know the deal I haven't done uh, uh, let me see if this works okay this should work all right chat exclamation point giveaway in chat now Exclamation point giveaway in chat now. If you're interested in entering the giveaway. We're doing our first giveaway. This is the first time I'm doing it on a separate PC. I hope this all works. Everything seems to be working fine. Remember, guys, if you do win the giveaway, I'm going to need you to send me a direct message on Discord with the stream in the background and your name down here. Uh, that's how we do the giveaways now. So if you do win, I'm going to need a direct message on Discord. And I've already got all the keys for the for the winners. 
So uh, it's a very simple process. I'll just send you over the key and we'll be good to go. Like the stream, don't be patches. Exactly. Exactly. Make sure you've liked today's stream. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel, which I'm sure you all are. And remember, we've got three copies to give away, guys. Three copies to give away. So if you don't win the first one, hang tight. It's we've 120 mile cruise. So it will be we'll be starting our descent in 15, 20 minutes and we'll be doing another one. Just a screenshot? Yes. Now how much would you rate the chance of getting a pre-release version of Eham to show as well tomorrow? Yeah, right. No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately, um Fly Tampa doesn't do like anything like that. They don't do those um you know, like promos and stuff, you know. Smooth landing, my man. Thanks so much as uh Thanks so much for your support, my friend. Welcome back as a first class member. Huge no floaties, guys, in chat for smooth landing. All right, chat, I'm going to give you guys one more minute here. If you haven't done it, if you've already done it, please don't do it again. If you haven't done it, you're just tuning in now, exclamation point, giveaway in chat for your chance at winning a free copy of um, Vertical Sim Tampa KTPA. Um, once again, thank you very much, smooth landing. Appreciate you, dude, and welcome back, man. Oh yeah, Danny, you'll be giving up hope and then boom. You'll just see one day it's been... Oh, here you go, guys. Ready to go. Never been interested in the hot start seal. I know it's a bit late to ask, but it's truly amazing. Not a biz jet guy. You're, you nailed it, 100%. Uh, I'm just not a biz, a biz jet guy, Roderick. And I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I, I, I've seen all kinds of videos, man. There's no doubt in my mind that it's a great jet. Um, just one when when an, when an aircraft is priced like that, I'm I'm immediately drawn away from it. I think that the price point of it, I understand that it's a great jet, and I understand that, but that price point, man, I just I just can't get on board for, for somebody who doesn't fly biz jets. If if it was priced a little bit better, I probably would have picked it up, and we probably would have flown it a couple a handful of times, right? But um, you know, just being completely honest with you, at the price point that it's at, I think it's 129 USD or something like that. At 130 USD, that's close to like 155, 160 CAD for a jet that I'll maybe fly a handful of times. There's no way I'll be doing that, man. Yeah, there's no way. No way. What about the free CJ4? Yeah, I mean, those would be definitely more up my alley, Will, but for sure, man. Yeah. Just for Google, sometimes you fly the updated citation longitude. It's pretty good fun. Yeah, I mean, we flew it. Remember, we flew it across the pond. We flew it from uh, London City to... Uh, I think we did London City, didn't we? London City to JFK or something. Yeah, the big Honda uh, jet update tomorrow. Ah, there you go. The Vision jet is good. Yeah, there you go. Greg, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, dude. Gotta get back to work. Uh, I'll check out the whole video later. Hope to see you tomorrow. Sounds good, Greg. Looking forward to it, man. Tomorrow's gonna be a blast. All right, chat. Let's select a winner, shall we? Winner of the first giveaway is... Are you serious? Did it actually just pick Streamlabs as a winner for the giveaway? Get the fuck out of here, Nightbot. <laughs> Nightbot, come on, man. That's so rude. He actually just picked Streamlabs as a winner. This fucking guy, man. I've never seen that, chat. How many giveaways have we done? Hundreds at this point. Fuck sakes. Streamlabs, congratulations. <laughs> Rye Dog, not here. Reroll. All right, the winner is Roderick John. Roderick John. Congratulations, Roderick John. If you are here and you would like to claim your prize as Tampa International Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please speak up now. You've got two minutes. Two minutes to claim your prize. Roderick, congratulations, my friend. I don't even know if you entered the giveaway. It seems that it's a little bit weird. It seems to be just picking up anybody, even though I have it as set to a, a certain, um, unless you did enter it, Roderick. But I think Roderick was just asking me about the, was not was it not him that was asking me about the, uh, no, it was, yeah, he is. Roderick, congratulations, man. Appreciate it, boss. Needed Tampa for some Copa Airlines ops, flew in the other week, and default senior was so happy to fly again. Hey, there we go, awesome. Roderick, can you, uh, Roderick, can you send me a, 
Do you have Discord, Roderick? First and foremost, if you're not in the Discord, exclamation point Discord in chat. Join the Discord, and then if you can, please go to the top right, click on my name, send me a screenshot of my stream with your name, like chat in the background. If you can, just take a screenshot, um, just so that I can confirm that it is you, and I will throw you over your code for uh, the scenery. Congratulations, Roderick. Huge no floaties to you, my friend. And chat, that is one giveaway done. We'll do, yes, Senator of Now, appreciate it, man. Just uh, DM with a screenshot. You got it, man. Just a DM with a screenshot. That's all I need, my friend. Just so I can confirm it's you. There's weird people out there, man. Davis, gift and a member to the channel. Huge enough floaties to you, Davis. Thank you very much for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Streamlabs has been scammed. Poor guy. Must feel like patches. That's a that's a first, man. I've never seen that one. I have never seen that one before. He kept you for original OBS Studio or Streamlabs? Oh, the original, man. OBS Studio, by far. OBS Streamlabs is cancer. Not good. Five I have pushed an update that should improve the stutters. Nice. Very cool. Maybe next time we're in Airbus, we can take a look. That's how you know it's not rigged. Well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Patches is the new CEO of Streamlabs. Yes, he is. Poor Patches, man. Patches. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Do you happen to know when these... We're actually giving away three copies, Zircon. Uh, the next giveaway is when we start our descent. So descent is in 80 miles. So probably about 10 or 15 minutes we'll do the next giveaway. I just got that, um, I just got that email as well, Fuber. Literally one minute ago. I just got that email from, um, yeah, hello all. Um, we've just announced I, uh, any builds Oklahoma City for Microsoft Flight Simulator, as well as a long-awaited update for Dallas Love Field. That's pretty cool. So, um... Looks like they're updating Dallas Love. I didn't even know we had scenery for Dallas Love. Do we have scenery for Dallas Love? As well as an update to the long-awaited Dallas Love field scenery for Microsoft Flight Sim. Huh. Oh, they're just providing an update about it. Is that what they're doing? Kenny, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude, from Calgary. Hope all's well, my man. Progress update, got you. Any builds is becoming a Microsoft Flight Simulator juggernaut? You're telling me, dude. What a, what a pleasure to work with a company like that, my man. Let me tell you, dude. Uh, by the way, Any Builds has signed on for another year of sponsorship as well, chat. So we've got Any Builds for another year. We've got Thrustmaster sponsorship for another year. So all of my major sponsors are coming back for another year, which means that we did a good job, chat. It's not just me. It's we as in a group of us. We did a great job uh, securing those sponsorships once again. So, very cool, man. They have a trailer for KOKC. Very cool. I know uh, somebody better... Yeti, ping... Uh, ping... Um, Cody. Cody's going to be probably ecstatic, man, for that one. Can't wait for the 300 to come to Microsoft. I assume we're ready for some nice cargo ops. Yes, I agree. 100%, man. Hey, what's up, Gap? How are you? So happy to have campus scenery. It was so needed. I agree, man. I agree 100%. Speaking of video builds, we haven't heard uh, much about the A300 since they announced it. I agree. That means they're probably hard at work. Hard at work. Which is always a good thing. And your community partner for Vertical Sim. There you go. Had a dream. I started playing. I uh, had to play Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, I need to set up so bad. Oh, man. Microsoft makes third-party add-ons so easy to install versus x -Plane. Yeah, it is. It's night and day, man. Listen, I I've been saying it before, Rydog. Dog. I think people are going to start to... I don't... I think this is the end, man. It's, it's, it's getting real close to that point. Why are there so many scenery releases? Got to work on some more hours, I guess. Because it's the sim is bumping, man. Did the Cincinnati scenery folk ever say anything about the runway bug? No. No. 
I guess we are landing south. We are, Tom. Yeah, we're planning 1-9 right. 1-9 right is what we are planning. Nice blowing right down the runway. Sky conditions are clear now as well. Very cool. I'm with you. X-Wayne's not even installed on my new PC. I have it installed, but man. Real difficult to convince myself to, to fly it. So much releasing, it's killing my wallet. I just wait, man. I'm I'm very very lucky, Maverick, that I'm in the spot where I'm sponsored by a lot of what's what's being released right now. Cause yeah, has X Plane tried to get a sponsorship with you? <laughs> nah, man, they're too busy chasing Swiss 01 around the U.S. Has to have at least 300,000 subscribers if we if we invest into them. You know that's what they're saying over there. In their little pizza party meetings. Cap, I bought and installed Cincinnati yesterday. All the runways and scenery were good. Damn, maybe I need to do a fresh install, CST. Did you did you apply the patch onto it, CST? Or did you just download like the, the scenery? Scenery will finally be usable on phones and tablets. There we go. That's pretty cool. CVG dev team refunded me for ROA, but I didn't hear anything via email about my complaints that you said spoke about. Uh, not in the junk folder either. Hmm. Weird, man. How many gigabytes does your X-Plane thing take up? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's on its own dedicated drive, man. I don't know. I, it's, yeah, I don't really know. Not that much right now, but maybe a terabyte, less than a terabyte, 700 gigs or something. The other thing I did after XP went into final release after the alpha was deleted off my hard drive. Yeah, it's crazy, man. No patch, just the scenery. Okay, I'll try it again. Yeah. There's a Cincinnati scenery? Yeah, it just came out, Skytime. Check my stream last... Uh, Last week. All right, let's go to our descent. We're going to forecast our winds. Seems like their patch is what breaks it. I was just going to say that, Andy. I'm, I I think that's exactly what it is. So I'm just going to go... I'm going to go and... I'm going to completely delete everything. And I'm going to reinstall it. Um, from the... Uh, I'm just going to reinstall it. And I'm not going to apply the patch. All right, let's load the winds. What was the uh, altimeter in Tampa? We just had it. Tom and I were looking at it, talking about it. Altimeter 3012. 3012. We'll throw that up in there as well. We'll execute that. Good. Cool. And then we'll go to our progress page. Top of descents in 33 miles, chat. 33 miles. We're leaving the coast now. Heading off into the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, Cap, would you be interested in doing a setup tour? I'd love to see how you get the sim to look so good. A setup tour? Um, I mean, you can go exclamation point Instagram, exclamation point Facebook if you want to see what my streaming setup looks like. Um, as for getting the simulator to look the way that it does, it's just a high-end PC, man. That's it, dude. It's just a high-end PC, and I don't even have the graphics really maxed out. They're just on high-end. Yeah, if, if you're curious to see the, you know, what my stream setup looks like and stuff, exclamation point FB, exclamation point Insta in chat, and that should take you there, man. Cap, would you fly into Tampa a lot because you like flying? If not, like Tampa, I'm going to pick it up. I love Tampa, dude. Yeah, I've got, there's a ton of flights that we can do in here. One of my favorite flights that I used to do before I was a streamer was Toronto to Tampa. It was, um, yeah, one of my favorite flights, man. It's a good weather contrast, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> big time it is. So, can we fly a lot into Tampa on stream? Uh, yeah, for sure. If you're on Ultra End PC, you'll need to get a 4090 with a 9912th gen or a 13th gen. Yeah, i9 13th gen. I run your settings in a 1660 Super, and I'm just fine with the planes and scenery. There you go. Toronto must have scenery. It does. Yeah, fly Tampa, Toronto. It's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, chat. 20 miles, 19 miles now till our descent. If we open up our charts, we can see that we're going to be on the Maddie 4, and we're going to be coming in this way, Roker, and then I think we go to Sklop. So I think Sklop at 5,000 is what we're going to be aiming for. So we'll descend here. I'm just going to make sure in our flight plan that that's exactly what we have. Sklop at 5,000. There's 5,000. 
Let's have a look down here. We're just going to see that it, yeah, there it is. Sklop and then Raider Vectors Direct Fatty. Jim Bob. <laughs> I love that. That's right. Jim Bob is one of the final approach fixes. <laughs> it's so perfect. Jim Bob flying into, flying into Tampa Bay now. Jim Bob. <laughs> so good, man. Uh, it's so good. Yeah, Fatty, Maddie, Roker, <laughs> Gojo. Some good ones, man. There are some good ones, man. Sorry about the x wing questions, but are you following the X-Craft E-Jets V2? I'm really not. If I got to be honest with you, Roderick, um, I'm... Uh, Unfortunately, man, I've I've just been so turned off by X-Plane recently. I mean, it's not even recently. Ever since the release of X-Plane 12, it's just it, it it's just been so I don't know. As somebody that's followed and supported X-Plane for years and years and years, it's uh X-Plane 12 is a tough pill to swallow, man. And I don't, you know, I don't want to start any debates. I don't want I don't want anybody to, you know, I just, for me personally, man, it's it's not where I it's not where I see myself going for the future of flight sim. I just, I just don't see it, man. I, uh, you know, as somebody who's not a real pilot, as somebody that that is, you know, using simulators as much as for the flight models, the visual aspect of things, I'm not interested, man. I'm just really not interested. Do you think Tampa will do Tampa? I have no clue. Probably. But yeah. Laminar got lazy. I think Laminar got lazy. Laminar got complacent. I think that's what it is. I think Laminar realized that it, it would just take far too much money and far too much work to even put out something that could even remotely resemble what Microsoft is. And they just... Yeah. Yeah, we're getting a big optimization patch with the next update as well. Um... Which is pretty cool. I'm excited for that one. You're cancelled now, buddy. How dare you speak your mind? Never watching again. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, dude. It's pretty crazy, man. Alright, there we go, chat. Descent into Tampa Bay. Like I said, I don't even think they got lazy. I think they just realized there was... There was the amount of money and effort that they would have to put in to even... Like I said, remotely resemble what Microsoft has done... It was just beyond their scope, beyond what they were willing to, to put into it, man. And I mean, I, I like I said, I personally think like, you know, out of everything, I feel bad for the third party developers. I feel bad for the companies like Tolis and Fly J Sim and, you know, some of the scenery developers that I've befriended over the years and years of being an x content creator. Those are the people that I feel bad for. You know what I mean? Because I feel that, you know... Uh, I've mentioned this before, man, and I've said this again. It, I really, truly think that, like, the Austin Kool-Aid, without joking around, I really, truly think that there's, like, there, there's definitely some, some Kool-Aid drinking going on. Um, now, I don't know if these companies have contracts with, with X-Plane, and that's why they solely deserve on flying it, but um, it's, you know, I, I've had numerous conversations with Tolis, and the last conversation that I had, we actually agreed... We disagreed so heavily that I actually haven't spoken to them since. And um, they basically told me that they were, they, they believe in x and they think that x was the was the, the right direction for the future of, of Flight Sim. And, you know, I bit my lip and I told them that I, I really truly think that they're wrong. And I think that they're looking at it from a developer perspective and not like a community perspective. And, um, you know, I... Uh, Again, I I don't understand how they're gonna how they plan on surviving with the, you know, the business model that they have. Like I said, we all know the next jet for the next jet for um, Tolis is the 320 Neo, which they plan on charging 90 USD for. I don't know how many people are going to be lining up to buy your 90 dollar add-on airplane that they can get for free in a far superior simulator in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can literally pay 30 less dollars, get an entire simulator that has the world covered in ortho and clouds and visuals like this for, and then download that airplane for completely free. You can go to the Fly-By-Wire website and download it now. Is the Fly, will the Tolis be better than the Fly-By-Wire? Probably, yes. But, you know, like I said, for the, for most of us, 
that's really not you know we're not real airbus pilots and we don't ever aspire to be real world airbus pilots so what the hell do we care if an airplane flies exactly the way it does true to life you know what i mean so it's it's where i gotta start questioning the sanity of some of this stuff you know what i mean jp thank you for your support dude gifting five members to the channel huge no floaties to jp thank you very very much for your support as well man it's been a lot of love today guys Thank you so much for support, man. 23 gifted members, over uh, $200 in donations. You guys are crazy, man. Thank you, guys. What are your thoughts on the big devs like any builds? Went to subscription model where you could download as much scenery regionally as you want for a monthly fee. Yeah, I think that's too difficult, man. There's not enough. There's not enough scenery out yet, man. There's not enough scenery to warrant something like that. It would have to be too expensive. Maybe in like five years' time, when they have like a, a whole catalog of scenery and airplanes and stuff that are out, maybe that may make sense but right now no I don't think that not enough content out remember guys please say thank you in chat to um, JP for gifting the members we got Paul celebrating five months as well this is enjoying the 60 degree weather in New York where's winter you're telling me man it is beautiful out there right now it's raining actually right now it's like plus eight and raining eight degrees it's crazy man Thanks so much, Paul. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, chat. Let's, um, oops, I just hit my camera. Hopefully that's not all out of whack again. Um, okay, with that said, let's go ahead and exclamation point giveaway. In chat now, exclamation point giveaway. And we will uh, plan and get ready for the next giveaway. So I'm going to explain, maybe you have potential, I just wish they would listen to you. It's not even me, man, it's just the community, but yeah. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, Yeti, they confirm that there's performance updates with Sim Update 12. Yeah. They did, they did. GVR. Hey, what's up, dude? About to land in Tenerife. I'll chat with you. Sounds good, man. Is this the 900? It is. Yes, the 900 ER. Remember, Vicheth, if you're ever interested in what I'm flying, exclamation point aircraft in chat. Should be interesting uh, with Austin at the Expo this year. I mean, I'm not going to be going to any of the... <laughs> you will not catch me in the laminar. I, I don't need to drink his Kool-Aid, man, because you know that's what it's going to be. It's going to be all these promises about how, oh, guys, w we know that you guys want this changed. We know that you want this changed. We know that the community wants this changed. Here's what we're going to change. And it's going to be like nothing to what the community wants changed. And yeah, no thanks. Reggie, what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. I just told a bunch of people in chat that the ATR comes back uh, next month. Did I lie? Uh, yes, you did lie. It comes in April. Although Microsoft has me in awe, I like XP11 because it just works every time I start it. No constant sim breaking updates. The aircraft I want. See, I mean, Roderick, I, I completely understand that, dude. And I don't have any... Uh, like, listen, dude, you use whatever simulator works best for you, you know? Um, uh, it's very unfortunate that you're having these issues. Um, with uh, It's very unfortunate that you're having those issues with Microsoft Flight Sim. I'm, I really don't have issues. I start the sim and it works and doesn't crash and... Rear Weiberg, what's up, man? You're making a lot of assumptions there. <laughs> what, that they'll plan on changing things? Listen, Jesper, I I've been to so many expos. I know I know exactly how it goes with Laminar Research and x and, and what they're going to do, man. It's uh, it's like clockwork with those guys now. We, we know exactly what's going to happen. We know exactly. Mr. Young, thanks so much, man. S celebrating uh, nine months. Appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties. Says, hope you're doing good, Cap. I am, man. Thanks for asking, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nothing wrong with that, Chris. Nothing wrong with that at all, man. What got you into aviation? My grandfather. Yeah. Predictions for the flight sim landscape five years from now. I think it's going to be crazy, Will. I, uh... I don't know... Um, I... I 
I'm I'm I really don't know much to be honest with you. There's a couple things that I can't speak about because I'm just under NDA. I really don't know much about like what the future scope's going to be like. I know a couple things. Obviously, I can't speak on them. Um, I just think it's a, an exciting time, and I think um, at the end of the day, I'm I'm glad that I've invested my time, my effort, and my money into Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's pretty much all I can say about that. Is I I, I still to this day I feel that this sim will be the the future of flight sim. And I think, I think, again, this is just out of, I think that the success of Microsoft Flight Simulator is going to future fuel projects. That's my opinion. That's what I think. That's what I, I'm just going to, you know, but I, I, I think that the, the overall success of this simulator is really going to just keep pushing the industry forward. And uh, that's what I'm excited about. Um, you know, yeah. Laminar promised a groundbreaking sim before X Plane 12 was released, but it uh, looks dated already. Yeah, 100%. Do you think Microsoft will ever have competition? I don't know, man. I really don't know. That's, uh, I mean, uh, I think there is some competition right now in the market with X Plane and P3D, albeit I think we know, you know, which one is ahead of, of who, but um, competition is healthy, competition is good. I just, I just don't know if I see any companies being able to, to even compete. You know what I mean? Not only with like money, but like more just resources and stuff like that. Um, 1085 in here. We'll throw that in there. We'll throw that up in there. Good. 1085 in here. We'll throw that up into there. I think we have Tampa Approach online. Um, who's that contacting me? Tampa Approach. Yes. Uh, Tampa Approach on 1815. Let's tune to 1815. All right, chat. And while we're, before we tune into him, um, let me, uh, let's select our winner here. I'll, I'll give you guys a couple, give you guys a couple seconds. If you haven't done so, exclamation point giveaway in chat. We'll leave it open for one more minute while we contact Tampa three, Approach. Seven, um, exclamation point giveaway. Three, if you've three, already three, done it, please don't do it again. North of the Tabber waypoint. Expect the ILS runway one nine or right approach to Tampa altimeter three zero one two. If you've already done giveaway, you don't three, need zero, to do one, it one, again. I just just one, reminding nine, everybody if you're coming in. And then remember, chat. We have one more giveaway to do once we get down on the ground and we've taxied to the gate one more giveaway that we're going to be doing so three giveaways in total so can we get some no floaties in chat for um, um for vertical like sim as well sponsoring the channel the way that he visual. does uh we could uh take a result for uh, one nine left if that's possible delta 1549 roger radar contact one mile to the east of the gustine waypoint uh, 187 uh, you can fly heading one turn right heading 170 for now the field will be at your 12 o'clock and one five miles report it when you have it okay 170 and uh, we'll call the field site uh, for uh, delta 1549 step departure good afternoon just 548 i think we uh, just signed on but we're airborne all right no and minimums 221 good cool all right, chat. Let's select our winner here. The winner of the second giveaway is Anzi. Anzi, congratulations, and Z. You have won some Tampa scenery, Anzi. Congratulations. If you are here in chat, please speak up now to claim your prize. Tampa approach. Good afternoon, Delta Ten Ninety Nine One Zero Thousand descending. On the Matty 4, we're expecting 1 9 right. See, uh, Delta 1099, Squawk 7271. 7271. And FedEx 561, Squawk 1617. Anzi, congratulations, man. Um, what I need from you, Anzi, can you please take a screenshot of the stream and your name right down here? And send that to me on Discord. If you're not part of the Discord, exclamation point Discord in chat now. Join the Discord. I'll be at the top right. You can select my name and then you can send me a direct message. That would be much appreciated, my friend. Ecap, thoughts on landing at CVG the other day? Obviously not good. 
Not good when scenery behaves like that. The landing was great. I think we did a really good job on the landing considering the winds were all over the place. But, um, yeah. The actual physical scenery itself was not very good. Alright, chat. Do we have any restrictions? 250, Windscom, 250, runway 29 left, clear to land. Alright, clear to land, uh, 1 mile left, Delta 1099, descend and maintain 3,000, best rate of descent, please. 3,000, best rate of descent, Delta 1099. And Delta 1099, can I just confirm you wanted 1-9 left for your approach? 1-9 right, please. 1-9 right, thank you. Anzi, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, man. Um, but yeah, if you could just send me a DM, that would be perfect. Oh, Anzi, you're already on it. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you, Anzi. Appreciate you, my friend. Uh, contact Tampa Tower, 119.5. You are clear to land, so there's no need to uh, let them know of anything. I will uh, I'll check on the tower. Thank you, dude. I will send you your... Um, I will send you your uh, copy after the stream, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Delta 1549, contact Tampa Tower, 119.5. Tower's online. 19.5. Alright, he wants this best rate down, chat. Let's go 2,000. Best rate down to 3,000. I'm not sure uh, if you said this, but what gate am I landing at? What gate am I going to? Uh, good question. The airplane went to gate 62. I'm going to try and go to 62. That's where the real airplane parked. 387, ascend and maintain 3,000, expedite descent. Down to 3,000, expedite, expedite descent. For landing three. So hopefully we'll vacate uh, Whiskey 4 or Whiskey 3 and back up. And three eighty seven, my apologies. Did you say you had an approach request, or did I assign you an approach? Uh, you gave us an approach for uh, one nine. Over the new scenery helps me get some good ETC coverage in Tampa. So excited about the same nice. Roger, that's what my notes say. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Perfect. All right, we've got two winners. Chat. Remember, we are doing one more giveaway. One more giveaway after we land into Tampa. And we had a speed restriction. I think it was two hundred and thirty knots. Yeah, two hundred and thirty knots. We'll plug in 230. Those need to be on. 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 And ding them. Cool. Screwing 37. Maintain 250 knots or less. 250 or less for wings 37. If it's one of the smoothest airport, it is. Steven, what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. Have to go back and check the beginning portion of the stream. I see you're headed down towards Florida. Gorgeous day today. It is. Yeah. Gorgeous day to check out some new scenery, man. Delta 1099, 8 miles from Fatty. Turn right, heading 160. Maintain 3,000 until established on the localizer. Cleared ILS runway 19 or right approach. Right turn 160 will maintain 3,000 3, until established the ILS 19 right approach. Delta 1099. All right, there we go. Ground spoilers can come in. We'll arm them. Making our right turn. Wants us to maintain 3,000 until established. We're 19 miles out right now, so that's good. Can actually chill on that descent rate quite a bit. Get those sounds back up for us. Thirteen and sunny in Toronto. I don't think this is winter anymore. That's pretty crazy, dude. Thirteen and sunny. The approach profile is incorrect. What the fuck? 
We're not even on the approach profile. What are you talking about? What? Ay, ay, ay. Any GSX for the new scenery? Yeah, there is one, Dan. Yeah, there was. Somebody's already made a GSX profile. Jesus Christ. It's Armor Localizer here, chat. Stayed at the Hyatt in Tampa near the airport. The floor is really nice views. Very cool. Localizer captured. Start bringing our speed back down to 210. Then go flaps one. Do you think that the release of the PMGG777 will make a lot of P3D players switch? Probably. Yeah, but who knows? Who knows? All right, speed down to 190. Flaps five degrees. Approach speed today is 150, chat. Delta 1099, contact Tampa Tower, 119er, flight 5, have a great rest of your flight, thanks for flying. 119er, decimal 5, thanks, wonderful ATC, man, we'll see you around. Uh, Delta 99. 3187, 8 miles. Okay, we'll cross 110, Charlie. Here comes Glide Slope. Armor approach. Tower, though, it might have been, a, oh, there we go, captured. Cool. Is the stream bugging or is it just you? I don't have any issues here. Chat, any issues? Tower, good afternoon. Delta 1099, ILS 19, right? 170's in. So 10 minutes, wind, 209 runway, one right, clear to land. One, one right, clear to land. Delta 10 thanks. All right, eight and a half, gear's coming down. Flaps 10 degrees. Flaps 15 degrees. We've been clear to land, we'll get all of our lights on, we're looking great. I'd like to also point out the performance at this airport. I was honestly quite surprised at how well it was running. All right, seven miles. Let's get fully configured. 150. Flaps 25. Should be flying over the Buck Stadium right now. I don't see it. We're a little bit closer. I don't know. Yeah, we'll get the replay. Don't worry. Always flaps full, and then we do the replay. We'll start recording. Good. It's right next to the airport? Ah, okay. Maybe on replay we'll see it. Left or right side? All right, chat landing checklist. Gear down, three green. Flaps are full. Ground spoilers are armed. Auto brake is set. Cabin crew is advised. Joystick cam's going on. My throttles. And my airplane. Enjoy, chat. Shit, I don't have landing rate monitor up. Hold on. There we go. Now we can see our landing. That was a close one, chat. Yes, this is the 900. Continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. 
reversers, nose down gently. Oh my. Sixty knots reverser stowed, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome down to Tampa. Sheesh. My goodness. I don't know if we've ever had one that buttery before, chat. Wow. Big heats to the left here. Welcome to Tampa Bay. Mm -mm -mm. Sheesh. Not bad for my day off, chat. Not yeah, bad for my day off. Tampa Tower cleared to Indianapolis Airport and did one depart to lace and transition mass file. Spoilers! Flaps! Wasn't too floaty either. A little bit floaty, but... Too shabby, chat. Jeb, 3457, Stop the recording. And of course, we'll go have a look-see here at the airport. Alright, well, guys, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down the thumbs up. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And remember, we are doing a giveaway. So if you've got an extra five minutes, hang out here in the chat. We'll be doing another giveaway, our third giveaway of the day. We'll open up our charts here and we'll let them know that we are vacated on Whiskey 4. In Tower uh, Delta 1099, vacated Whiskey 4. Delta 1099, Tampa, Airside Echo, please. Airside Echo, Roger, Delta 1099, Tampa, Zip Park, via Whiskey. Whiskey, Victor 4, Victor. Whiskey Victor for Victor, thanks. Flat uh, runway surfaces never get sold. <laughs> Sage Lab, thank you for the support, man. You are correct. Flat runway surfaces are the way to go. Huge no floaties to you, my man. Thanks so much for your support, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, chat. Landing lights are coming off. Runway turnoffs are coming off. Tax light can stay on. Strobe lights are coming off. Wing lights are coming off. We'll go ahead and spool up the APU as it's not a very long taxi over here. Ooh, look at that. The Spirit Jet right behind us as well. Very nice. the spirit hi how are you my friend thanks for uh, the ATC man appreciate it yes the runway short lights yeah the scenery is always top notch man Oh, I see a light right here that shouldn't be there, though. 10 tower, zero wing three, seven clear of uh, one on our left on whiskey four, or one on our right on whiskey four. Heard JetBlue and Spirit, uh, blue, uh, I heard JetBlue and Spirit are going to merge. Three, I think so, but I'm not entirely sure, three, to be honest Juliet, with you. And where do you enter the ramp? Uh, looks like we're going to enter on, like, Juliet one, if that's all right. That's fine, Jack. Right. APU Gen Julia, is on, Julia engine bleeds are off, Julia, APU Julia, bleed is on. The merger was called off, I have no clue. I think there's Charlie. a Delta plane where we were going to go chat, so we'll have to take this oh, one. Right. I'm sorry. Taxi via um, this should be Echo, Taxi and we should Juliet. be going to Charlie. Echo, Alpha. Victor. what was it? Echo 64 Juliet. then Charlie. is what we'll look for. Alpha. Victor. 64, no. Good, cool. Yeah, there they are. They're waiting for us. Cool. Let's go ahead and kill the taxi light. Delta 
Bravo 370, I have a better idea. Hold short of Julia and uh, it'll be another minute. Okay, we'll hold short uh, of Julia, Julia uh, Bravo 370. Stop! Beauty! We don't have a dancer, so we don't need to make it perfect. Parker brakes on. APU's on. Gens are on. Engine number one is off. Engine number two is off. Anti collision light is off. Ladies and gentlemen. Operate jetway. Welcome to Tampa Bay. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and request deboarding. Any builds released KOKC or are they making it? Uh, they're making it. It hasn't been released yet, but they are making it. And there we go. Wonderful. Jump back inside. One more thing. We'll open up the doors here. Doors left. Open, open. And there we have it, guys. A beautiful flight. Oof. That was a good one, chat. What, a, what an epic entrance to a new airport. Does it get any better than that, guys? Does it get any better than that? All right, chat. As promised, the final giveaway for today. Exclamation point giveaway in chat now. Exclamation point giveaway. Spam it in there. Let's get this going. These guys are going to deboard the airplane. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and have a look around, shall we? Let's go look around the uh, let's go look around the airport here. So you can obviously see every airside has been modeled. You know what's even cooler, chat? He's even got the like the airside trains that are moving uh, back and forth between the actual terminals. I don't know if you oh, there's one right there. So he's actually modeled the the trains that go back and forth between the terminals. Oh, it looks like he was about to go, but maybe not. Wait, here's the main terminal, the main parking area. Pretty damn cool, man. Oh, there's one train coming right now. There you go. So we've got a train coming over here to the uh, to the international. This is every time I fly. In, I don't know if this is the international terminal. I think this is one of the international terminals, but uh, I always have to take that train over here. This is uh, this is always where I catch my Air Canada or WestJet flights, and they are always parked right here. These are always the parking spots that I get when I fly into this uh, to this airport. These like th three or four um, spots right here. Absolutely beautiful. We'll continue our tour here. We'll give you a little quick little scenery. Um, <clears throat> one day, I really hope to be able to, the, he's got the entire bridge modeled. Um, not like any other lazy developers that don't actually model the bridge. You can actually see the entire bridge is modeled. So maybe one day we'll actually get to, uh, we'll actually get to use it. Because holy macaroni, an actual properly modeled bridge. Kind of excited to go over that one day, chat. Kind of excited. And then, of course, you've got the... Uh, I think this is all the long-term parking because this is the, he's got monorails that come all the way from here. I believe this is the long-term parking. It 100% is the long-term parking. Um, modeled all of that as well. I think this is, uh, this is like where Citation Max would go. This is where Max would take his fancy plane. He'd come over to this side, probably Signature or something like that. Shelt Air, there we go. There's Shelt Air. We've heard that. If anybody watches Max's videos, you've definitely seen Shelt Air. Here's the cargo area, or one of, I believe, the cargo areas. This is the, I don't know who goes here. Oh, this is FedEx. There you go. FedEx is here. Here is the FedEx cargo area. So all of that is modeled. Will be really nice to, uh, we've got some maintenance hangers over here. Airborne maintenance with some frontiers. And it looks like maybe some s old Scandinavians or something. Scandinavian 321s. Yeah. Something weird going on. Uh, you've got the United Maintenance Bay, all modeled with an airplane in there. You've got uh, more airborne over here with some Frontier planes getting worked on. Um, pretty damn cool, man. Beautiful scenery. Modeled incredibly well, if I, uh, if I got to say so myself. I mean, look at those runway textures, chat. That is just beautiful with the touchdown marks like that. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Here's Southwest's. This is the Southwest Terminal. They own this entire terminal. And I do believe, chat, that the interiors are modeled to like a basic degree. 
nothing crazy, but you can obviously see he's got some chairs and stuff in here. So they're modeled enough. Like, uh, that's good enough for me. Definitely to save on performance. And then I think this is where JetBlue and Spirit and those guys fly out of. I think this is one of the main terminals here. Uh, again, modeled nicely inside. Got some chairs and stuff, but nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, pretty damn cool. And again, the monorail systems running throughout the airport. They're always constantly moving around. So it's really cool. There's... Uh, there's uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of moving parts here in this scenery. A lot of moving features. Um, pretty damn cool, man. Pretty damn cool. And then of course we've got uh, some static Amazon Prime. I guess this is where they're doing their cargo ops here, midfield operations. The Amazon Prime. As you can see, there's a static 767 Prime Air just sitting there looking all pretty. But yeah, vertical sim Tampa, man. I'm uh, extremely excited to have this airport. Look for uh, a lot of Tampa Ops chat. Like I said, this airport is near and dear to me. As somebody who has flown into this airport, pff, I can't even, I don't even know how many times, man. I don't even know how many times. It's uh, always a pleasure to get these airports that, you, that you've flown into real life. He's even got all the lead-in lights. I wanted to actually come over here and just take a second to appreciate the lead-in lights. Look at the lead-in lights, the rabbit lights, I think they're called. Look at how well he modeled that. He's actually got like the uh, the actual, just like how it is in real life. Pretty damn crazy, man. Pretty damn crazy. Are there any long hauls to Tampa? Um, I mean, we could do like Toronto to Tampa. It's like a three three hour flight, two and a half three hour flight. I'm sure there are some long hauls for sure. There's some over, you know, there's some cool flights that we can do once we get the three thirty and stuff like that for sure. There's uh, there's definitely some long hauls to here. Definitely cool. So there's our little uh, tour, guys, of the uh, of the airport. The scenery is twenty one dollars, Randy. Twenty one dollars. Um, again, you can put exclamation point scenery, and there's a direct link to it if you're interested. The jet bridge is detached there because we went too far away. Um, okay, let's select our winner here, guys. The last winner of the scenery is Nick S. Nick, congratulations, my friend. You have won yourself some free scenery courtesy of myself and Vertical Sim. Nick, if you are here in chat, please speak up now to claim your prize. Nick, congratulations, my friend. If you are here, please speak up, claim your prize. You've got yourself some free scenery, my man. We'll just make sure that he's here to claim it. Um, Nick, congratulations, my friend. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to come down here. We need to get the airplane kind of set up. So let's go to menu. We're going to go to FS, uh, sorry, we're going to go to PMGG setup. We're going to go to panel state load, and we're going to go final, and we'll execute that. There we go. Nick, congratulations, man. If you are here, please speak up now to claim your prize. Nick, congratulations, my man. There we go, Nick, congratulations, man. Nick, if you're part of the Discord, which I believe you are, can you please send me a Discord message? LAX, SFO, Seattle, and Salt Lake are all cities you can reach from Tampa. There you go, very cool. If you want to, go directly east to extend the center line of runway 10 a few miles. Buck Stadium is to the left of the center line. Uh, okay, hold on, we'll go check that out. So wait, you're saying, sorry, what runway? Runway 10, which I think is this one, right? Yeah, runway 10. Oh, shit, I see it over there, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see it. All right, let's go see it quickly, chat. Did he model this, or is this modeled in this sim already? Or did he actually model this? There's the stadium, the Buccaneers stadium. Did he model this, or or was all... Look at the tree. Trees are a little bit warped out front, but... Did he model this, or is this actually, like, modeled in the... Uh, he modeled this? Oh, damn, that's badass, dude. That's badass. I had no clue. Raymond James Stadium. Look at the texturing, man. It's just crazy. Like, some of the stuff that these guys can do, man. That's actually insane. That's so damn cool. I bet it all lights up at night, too. That's pretty damn cool, man. So, yeah, it's very rare you get landings on runway 28 or 10. Very rare. But if you did, man, oh, man, oh, man. Be really cool to get some of that. Uh, on uh, on approach or something like that, man. Yeah, what a great job he did, dude. Fantastic job. Again, he uh, doesn't really need any recognition. This guy is, you know, he's... I always compare Vertical as, as one of the highly talented and highly skilled developers out there. Um, 
he he really truly towards the end of his X plane when he was pushing out scenery for X plane, it was just quality release after quality release after quality release. Same as Microsoft, I'm I'm unbelievably happy to see him actually like bear down and complete this project. I know that it's nowhere near done. I picked up a a, a couple bugs here and there, and there's a couple things that need smoothing and a couple things that need to be fixed up, but. Um, for an initial release of a scenery, I mean, it's just fantastic, dude. He did such a good job. Like I said, it, it's not perfect. There are definitely some things that need to be addressed, and I'm sure he's going to have uh, an update here sooner than later. Um, but yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic, man. He did such a great job. Um, Nick, again, if you could just reach out to me in um, Discord, Nick, and send a message. Um, that would be awesome. Um... All you have to do, Nick, just take a screenshot of your name and my stream in the background and just send me a direct message on Discord and I will hand over your key to the scenery. Alrighty, chat, let's uh, let's watch some replays, shall we? Turn those sounds down here just a little bit. We'll watch some replays. We'll get this bad boy ready to go. I'm just going to bring this forward here a little bit. We don't need to watch that much. That should be good right about there. We'll watch some... Watch some wing views of this bad boy coming in so stoked to finally have some Tampa scenery, man. I've been uh, I've been waiting and I've been missing flying into Tampa. It's just been crazy, man. It's been crazy. Maybe a nighttime view. Oh shit! Sorry, I'm just seeing that now. Well, uh, listen, we'll be back, guys. Do not worry. All right, we'll be back probably next week when we're back in the U.S. Maybe we can do some night ops or some real world ops like sunset ops into here or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, so um, yeah, that will be uh, that will be the plan, chat. We'll we'll fly in next. Uh, we'll fly in not next week, the week following week. So. But, um, yeah, what a great day of flying. Thanks so much for being here, friends. I know it was kind of a, a last-minute stream, but I, I, he, sent me, he sent me a message yesterday on Discord saying that he was going to release his Tampa airport, and I said, well, it only makes sense for us to do an After Dark stream and for us to fly into there because, my goodness, that is some beautiful scenery, man, and we need to showcase that. Man, what a great landing. That wasn't even floaty chat. We just absolutely nailed that approach, man. Like, uh, did we touch down? Did, did anybody feel that? Did we even touch down on that one? My goodness. Sign me up for uh, Delta Simulator training, Jot. I, I will be the training simulator captain now. Thank you. Appreciate you. Just call me Training Captain Canada. No problem. Because I'm still sleeping. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are absolutely awesome. All the likes, all the views, all the gifted members. Uh, all the donations as well today. Absolutely fantastic, man. So thank you, everybody. I want to take this time to thank all my mods, my donators, my sponsors. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do for the channel. Um, you know, without you guys here, none of this is possible. None of these sponsorships and all that stuff, man. It's just not possible. So thank you all very, very much for being here. Thank you all so much for supporting the streams. I truly do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, uh, off-schedule stream, but I felt like uh, felt like we need to bring some awareness to a major airport that I think a lot of us have been waiting for. So um, thank you, everybody for your support today i truly do appreciate it for those of you that cannot support using a monetary value but still support the stream uh stream after stream i want to thank you guys just as much man for being here supporting so thank you all very much for your support guys i truly do appreciate it y'all are absolutely amazing i will leave you now with some outro music chat you know the plan for tomorrow we will be uh checking out some brand new scenery as well some pre-released scenery tomorrow chat we're going to be doing some real world klm ops from amsterdam to the unreleased or the pre-release copy of um, Orbex Oslo. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. It's going to be a great day of flying. If you can tune in tomorrow, please do so. It's going to be great. Once again, congratulations to all three of our winners. Guys, have yourselves a great Wednesday evening. And I look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow. All right, guys? Happy landings. So